attention, masturbators, stop your masturbating and listen to this masturbator on the report from Tiger Mountain. I'm a funny cunt, aren't I? So, uh, yes, the masturbate or the masturbating. Um, we want to talk about tonight uh, on the report from Tiger Mountain. Okay, so uh, Victoria is in lockdown um, 3.5, as Tim Wilms calls it. Um, it's like four yet, but somewhere in between. Everyone's wearing a mask. If you go up to the local shops, you've got to wear a mask. And I mean, you know, I went exercising in the park the other day and everyone's wearing a mask. Even people riding a bike are wearing a mask. I mean, that's not going to be good for you. But like, you know, I mean, you've got to examine the mask situation. Um, are there many on the new right who oppose wearing a mask? Um, I've basically gone along with it because, uh, you know, I mean, I have a lot of different theories about what is going on, but I wouldn't say I'm absolutely sure about any one particular theory. I'm somebody who listens to mainstream media and doubts it. I'm someone who listens to conspiracy theories and I doubt them. So, I mean, I'm a kind of skeptic to some extent about, about what's going on, but I try and cherry pick. You know, that seems maybe true there in the mainstream narrative. Well, that does, that's a really good point from the conspiracy um, community, you know. So, and I try and find a dialectical middle ground. So, in relation to wearing a mask, I would say you probably should because it doesn't do any harm. I wouldn't do it if you're exercising. Um, I think get fresh air. And But if you're just popping up the supermarket for 10 minutes or you go into one shop for 10 minutes twice a day, wearing a mask for, you know, 20 minutes once a, you know, a day is not a problem. And, um, you know, there's an element of respect for others when you do that. Um, but, you know, the other thing that annoys me about all this, it, it's like invasion of the bloody body snatchers if you're not wearing a mask. Cause I've been into a couple of shops a couple of times where I wasn't wearing a mask because I left it in the car. Oh, I forgot it. It was at home or whatever. And I just pop into a shop quickly. People look at you like, you know, it's invasion of the body snatchers. Like, oh! A couple of people have said things to me and it's like, but it's literally, watch that film, uh, Evasion of the Body Snatchers. There's two really good versions. There's the first one made in the 50s and there's a brilliant one in the late 70s directed by Philip Kaufman. Um, so check that out with Donald Sutherland. There's a meme going around with Donald Sutherland screaming. You'll, you'll get the point if you watch the film. So, you know, it's it's very interesting situation. You know, I mean, at some level, I really doubt the um, what you call uh, the validity of wearing masks. But if you do, it doesn't do you any harm if you're only popping up the shop twice a day or something to wear a mask. So, uh, you know, if, you, if you're if working eight hours a day and you've got to wear a mask all day, I mean, that's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the validity of this. But, you know, if we look at countries like Japan and Taiwan, these are kind of mask cultures, where they've had a lot of viruses before and people wear masks quite often, they do seem to have done well during this crisis. And even if we do believe in conspiracy theories, or at least we listen to them sometimes, we have to understand that, you know, we could be incorrect about certain things. And if there is a basic precaution that doesn't um, uh, um, cause us too much hassle, like wearing a mask every now and then, um, it's not the end of the world. Um, so, you know, I guess that's my, my opinion on it. I do think um, people uh, should have the right to talk about this and they should, if people want to not wear them, well, they have the right to express their opinion, in my, in my opinion. And, uh, and obviously there are people who are very pro-mask. As far as I can see, when I go out in my, my local area, and I, I travel occasionally around different places. And, you know, most people appear to be wearing masks in Melbourne. And and what's weird is things are still going up. The figures are still going up. The COVID numbers are still going up. We had like 700 today and we had like 800 yesterday or something ridiculous. Um, why is that? We're in lockdown again. People really are in lockdown. The streets are empty mainly. Even people in parks and exercising are wearing masks. Why are the figures still going up? A, are the uh, coronavirus tests, are they giving back false positives? There's been many reports that they are. Is it possible that the Chinese or the globalist cabal or some other agent um, are infecting the tests themselves so that when you get the test, that's when you get COVID-19? Obviously, I recommend if you do get a test, go to a GP who you know and trust because he will use a swab from his, you know, thing and he's not, well, he's not, you know, chances of him working for the cabal are probably minimal. So I would say if you're going to get a test, go to a doctor who you trust. Uh, and, and get the test there because you know if you know the doctor, chances are he'll he'll just you know stick a normal swab in and, and away you go. So you know that's my opinions on it all. Um, I do uh, you know I, I do uh, listen to a lot of people who doubt the mask wearing um, uh, situation, but I think for now, I mean you know it probably doesn't do too much harm if you're only popping up the street you know ten minutes twice a day or something to wear a mask and uh, let's just see what happens. But you know I, I really hope you know whatever's going on uh, with COVID nineteen. And there's definitely some kind of new world order agenda going on here that it begins to be exposed. And as we move towards the election of Donald Trump, I hope more truth comes out about this. And thank you for listening, ladies.